Hello everyone, it's Aldo from That Motor Show, back here again. It's a really hot day today, hot, nice, muggy day here in Queensland. Today I'm in... Hello everyone, Aldo from That Motor Show, back here again. Uh, this time it's an episode where we're going to be working on a car. And this car that's accompanying me today is a Mazda 3. We're changing its... Um, I know I've done a headlight video before, but I'm actually going to be changing the the headlight itself uh, on the front, and then we're going to be doing the tail lights as well. Um, quick little story, story time. It's always fun. Uh, Christina with the misfit Ford Mustang. I know I played out the video as if I'd never met her before, but she's actually my sister. And just to get the channel up and running, I thought that that car and that interview would be a perfect opportunity, and well, it worked. Um, I'm very glad I've done that, but in that video I asked Christina what she drove as a daily and well This is it. This is the Mazda 3. I'll just get my microphone here Now that is a true Mazda 3 We've got TYC lights precision safety automotive lamps so that's what we're using um pretty sure we found them online reasonably cheap and i mean they look they look the part they look pretty quality um hopefully they bolt in but as any other automotive aftermarket part or anything really aftermarket you can sometimes be a bit hit and miss but i guess we're about to find out so yeah, let's get to it. I guess first things first, we have to open the bonnet, obviously. Open the door. Like that, like so. Come over here. Like that. We've got one of these sticks. They go up in there somewhere. Let's find a hole. It says rod. You've got to stick your rod in the bonnet hole. Rod. Rod in the hole. So from what I can see, We've got a bolt here, there'll be some behind here, and then let's grab this, pull that, go up there, there's another bolt in there. So I'm going to attack that and see what we can find. So I actually thought that I broke this, but what you do is, so this is the little plastic stopper for the grill. And yeah, pretty much you just slide this out from here. I thought I broke it off, to be honest. But then once that's out, you can get, I'm just using this little Milwaukee um, hook, pin, pick, hook, pin, pick, <laughs> and get under it and I just pulled it up. Um, did I break it? Possibly, maybe, maybe a little bit, but should still work, hey. Right, we'll get back to it. So now that we got all the support, or well, hopefully all the support off the front, unclip that, like so. Look, you gotta use a little bit of, a little bit of <laughs> force. And then, that will just slide down. Now you can undo the mud, the inner mud guards and take out the whole thing. But this gives me full access to the headlights. So yeah, we'll take this off now. So now that 
Look, I just went ahead and I took off both the headlights, as you might have seen. So now we have the new one. This is the left-hand side. Let's um, have a go unwrapping this thing. So I don't know how to do this. Um, what do they call it? ASMR. Is this ASMR enough for everyone? Look at this. This is me hopelessly unwrapping a brand new headlight. Imagine if I dropped it. Oh no, look at that. Oh, I hope that, the, that didn't distort the audio because I can't do that again. Oh, no, I guess there's a couple of other lights, but look at that. Brand spanking new TYG. It looks like what I can see so far straight away. Let's put this down gently without pushing all the bolts off the engine cover. So first thing that I can see that's a bit different, but it might be interchangeable, is this bracket here, mounting bracket. It doesn't have one on this one, but there are screws, so we'll unscrew that. And I believe I've seen in the pack of these headlights that it comes with um, some sort of nut cert for the screw to tap into. So look at that, all right, so make sure nothing falls off the back of it, I guess. Screw is out. Let's put this to the side. Now I can imagine there might be another one somewhere. Nope. You just have to somehow remove this. Okay, so I found that there was actually a little clip right there. Um, I might have broken it off, but look, that happens. This side, <laughs> don't break off the clip. It's got a screw, it should be fine. Okay, so let's get some camera. Right there, you push it, comes out just like that. Beautiful. Now, let's see if this fits up on this new one without any fitment problems. Look well, that, it even clipped in. Oh, I have to get that one again. Let's do that. Let's get this ASMR happening. Oh, no, now, it clipped in too good now. It's not gonna wanna come out. Oh, no, we got it, we got it. Let's do this, let's, let's do this. Sometimes as humans, I wish that we had some more hands, to be honest. Ready, steady. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eventually I'll get there. Just gotta get the tip on the... Just like so. Cool. Make sure, see, this is where this right here is where the clip should have been, but someone broke it. I'm not gonna say who broke it, but someone did. Okay. We've got the LED light bulb in the hole, and just like the Nissan Micro video I done, you take off this boot, right? I've put the headlight bulb in there. It goes in there and it, it sits on this little tab right here. Then there's a clip that goes around it. Let's try and get a good angle here. Oh. And you just push it under, retains the headlight bulb, simple. So like I was saying with the Nissan Micro video, there are other forms of light bulbs and the way that they get retained. As you can see, this one here is a quick lock. Well, I like to think it's called a quick lock anyways. Uh, and pretty much you feed it into the three slots, turn it, and it locks the light bulb in. That's not coming out, simple. So these are the headlight bulb sockets. This is the old one, this is the new one and pretty much I'm just gonna change the bulb over. It just goes in and twists and locks in, like so. So that now, now that the light bulb's are in and this bracket is on, we can go about putting this headlight down here, ready to put back into the car. Um, and then more or less, it's just a, um, just a process of plugging everything back in and working out where everything was. Luckily, everything kinda sits the way it's meant to sit. Not that one, but <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's plugged in. Over there, that's little daisy. So guys, well, it's actually really hot here in Queensland. 
Um, that's concluded. Front headlights are in. Unfortunately, yeah, I was unable to finish the um, video the way I would have liked to. My camera actually ran out of battery. But so the kit only actually, yeah, I've got an Avocado on my hand. It only came with that light, not this one. So we changed them. Stands out a little bit, hey. So this is not a Mustang, this is a Mazda 3. But yeah, anyway. So thank you for joining. Um, I hope you liked that video. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe. And just remember that motor show. Don't forget it. All right, guys. Thank you and goodbye.